<sighs> Is that even that cold? What do you mean it's not cold? A lot of people ask me how I deal with diving in the cold water up here in the Arctic Circle. There is snow coming off this mountain. It's currently raining. The water's eight degrees. It's about five to seven degrees air temperature. So it's not the most comfortable diving I've ever done in my life, but it's definitely possible. And here are a few tips on how to stay warm while you're spearfishing. So the first thing that tends to go when you're diving in really cold water are your fingers and your feet. Getting desperate. Need some hot water in my gloves. So for your feet, make sure you just get some quality booties. You might have to get a bigger size foot pocket on your fins to fit a five mil or a seven mil booty in there, but get some brand new ones if you're going on a trip like this. Brand new ones, they're 15 quid. Immersion makes some really high quality ones. I really rate those. And for your hands, you can get Five finger gloves in five mil. They're a bit cumbersome, but your hands still get really cold. I learned this the hard way in Denmark when the water was six degrees, but the Nordic guys there have the secret weapon, which is these three finger mittens. Immersion make these as well. They are an absolute lifesaver. They hold these three fingers together like this. They stay really warm. Dexterity is obviously inhibited a little bit, but these things are turbo warm. These are five mil. I've used seven mil ones as well if it's really, really cold. It's eight degrees here in the water and my hands are okay, so if it was any cold, I would definitely get some 7 mil gloves. Secret weapon of the cold number two is wetsuit shorts. Something that you normally associate with the tropics. I wear these over the top of my suit, so I'll have the jacket on, then I'll have the pants on. Pull these over the top, they act as a massive water stop and keep your kidneys and your organs around your belly really, really nice and warm. And so when you jump over the side of the boat, you don't get water shooting up the back of your wetsuit, and these are actually something that will keep you really, really warm. Number three for staying warm, get yourself an undervest. I'm not wearing it today because this is a pretty thick wetsuit, but these things are a cheap alternative to buying a thicker new wetsuit. You wear this under your suit before you put it on. Very, very, very warm indeed. The fourth thing you should do when you come into a really, really cold environment is get a proper fitting wetsuit. Everyone knows I love these Polo Sub wetsuits. They're custom made to measure for my size because I'm a pretty small, skinny guy. So it's hard to get an off the rack wetsuit that fits me without any water sloshing around. This is nine and a half mil up the top here. These arms and the hood are eight and a half mil just for a little bit more flexibility, but this thing is toasty warm. I, I can't rate it highly enough. And if you're coming to somewhere like the Arctic Circle, you're gonna need a good wetsuit. So I'll link these ones in the description. So if you're out here boat diving, make sure you cover up when you're in the boat. Wear a beanie, get a jacket on, because it's actually really cold when you're just sitting in the boat. The wind's blowing, it's currently raining at the moment. There's wind that's coming off Arctic bloody mountains. It's, it's freezing, so you need to cover up and protect yourself from the elements. The last two things I will say on keeping warm while you're diving is make sure you get enough sleep because if you're tired, you get cold really, really easy and you get agitated really easy. So make sure you sleep enough the night before. Don't get out on the piss and have heaps of beers before you go diving because you'll get cold really, really quickly. And make sure you keep your calories up by eating delicious muffins that my wife made me and sent with me to Norway here. Keep your calories up, keep your energy up. I know a lot of people don't like to have food in their stomach while they're diving, but you're not diving deep. You're gonna freeze otherwise. So make sure you keep your calories up and sleep enough. Catch you guys on the next video.